Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to figure out which order. All right, we are going to do fire. Fire, fire, fire. Aries, Leo, Sag. It is weekend energy. I'm going to get your overall message, um, overall lesson for all three of you guys. Again, I my intentions were to group all of these like I normally would in a weekend read. Um, and for some reason, it's like doing it in little segments. So I don't know what that's about. It might be a message for you. Okay, so Aries, little Leo, Sag, Weekend Energy. Aries, Leo, Sag, Aries, Leo, Sag, Guilt. I release any benefit that no longer is assisting in my soul's growth. So, it's a lesson, right? So, you're either over it or you're in it. It's like being in a situation that's dead, it's not growing, and you know it, right? So, that song just came to me. Something and you know it. Um, I'm having pains in my chest. It's not the same pain that I had in like one of the Libra or Gemini readings. It was Gemini, I think. I don't know. Could have been Aquarius for all I know, but this is telling me that it's affecting your health. Okay. So you got to let go of any belief or insane reasoning. You know, it is something that's no longer working for you. This it's like being in a, a dead end situation, you know? Um, so you're either learning it this weekend, you're picking up on that or, you're not, and you're going to stay in a situation that is going to affect your health and your growth, your evolution, okay? Um, but you know what's sticking out to me the most is I release any belief. So it, it's like, it's something that you're believing, which is even worse. It's like self-inflicted torture. And again, sharp pains in my chest. So whatever's going on is affecting your mental well-being and your energy. I just felt a strong feminine energy. Um, maybe it's overpower. I, I don't know. So let's start. Let's start with Aries. Aries weekend energy Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Ascending, Muse, Deception, Settling. Those two wanted to come out together. So again, see, it's, you're settling. It's like holding on to something that's dead, but it's, it's affecting your health. It's like anxiety, big breath. Here's the deal. It's like you're growing, evolving, or you want to. There's someone around that's definitely inspiring you or having you look at something differently. But then you have deception and settling. So there's, there's no growth here. You're either lying to yourself or somebody else is lying to you. So to me, you have an opportunity... to kind of move forward to, to me it's like you're not doing something like you're doing it slowly and surely but the water's not moving the paddles aren't being used you're not on the boat but you know you know you need to so I don't know if you're struggling with that I'm, I'm telling you just watch your health because it's it's gonna affect your health if this is you guys I think even if you're cross-watching, it's affecting your energy. Yeah, see, family. 
and then you got unawakened. You're not, you're not seeing something. It, it's almost like your family, nothing, nothing's moving, nothing's budging. It's, it's just staying the same. So if you, if you feel you want things to change, I don't know if you feel like it's going to affect your family, other people, thoughts, ideas. But it's like you got to move forward. See, but you, it's like you are, you know it. So I don't know if it's holding you back. And I know people get a bit pissy with me, like, can't believe you would say that. Well, no, I'm going to fucking say that. Okay? Because it, it's, there's something here. It is, there's something here that's not going. Families, they always grow, right? But, like, doesn't mean family situations are always healthy, guys. And a lot of karmic situations are from family, parents, brothers, sisters, cousins, children, like, wife, husbands, it, it doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, everyone's like, oh my god, that's my family, and dip, dip, blah, 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 okay? Blah, 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 blah. There's something about it that's holding you back. Like, that ascending is, is holding you back. Like, wanting to move forward, okay? But not, in a way. Wanting, you know... But not. But thinking about it, I don't know if there's somebody that came into a, a situation. Yeah, see, like really going within, like wanting to move forward. So, but it's like you're not saying anything. You need the strength to say something, speak up. So I don't know if you're not saying something because someone doesn't like what this is because this is an inspiration it's inspiring it's, it's a muse and it's like you want to go in that direction but then it's like I don't know if this is stopping you so I don't know if you're lying to yourself lying to your family lying to somebody devotion so it's like wanting to devote time to a situation wanting to but with a barrier at the bottom you could be blocking a situation um or you're allowing family members yeah see that's that's not good with family ace of cups reversed there's like it's no love but it's family or you're passing up an opportunity for love because of your family but it's not growing. It's staying the same. You're dealing with somebody who, there's somebody here that completely overanalyzes situations that keeps them in situations. Okay, so it's like you're lying to yourself and you're settling in a family scenario or a dynamic. There's an opportunity. This will be a new opportunity for love and you're not going after it. You want it, you see something, but you're not going after it. You're not you're not saying anything. With the hermit, you're, you're keeping your mouth shut because you'd rather that your family was content. I'm telling you right now, your family will never be content if you're not growing and changing with the times. You know, and patience. You're trying to have patience in a situation. But to me, the, it's like being bound so you're probably already separated and you're, you're just trying to have something play out a certain way. This is, this is buying time. In this situation, you're buying time. And for what? Money. It came out completely sideways. Sideways is not a word in the English dictionary, but it is in Courtney's, okay? So, you sticking around for money reasons? Someone's lying about money. What they want. Wanting a new opportunity because it was a rejection in the past. You're settling for financial reasons is what this is saying. Yeah, you're just like settling. Like you have options, but 
there's something tricky with the deception. It's lies. You're lying to yourself. You're lying to the family. You're staying in a situation because of money. You're settling. Your family is no longer going to grow and evolve. People grow and change and they age, but scenarios will not change until you actually ascend. You got to devote more time to a certain situation with this muse. Okay, so this is positive because this is like talks about restrictions and with it being reversed, this is freeing yourself. And you have the two of cups. So you have a mutual love here. I don't know where it's at. Probably this opportunity you're not taking. Okay. Um, but it, it's like you're, you're, you're freeing yourself from a situation, but not really because you're still you're still keeping your options open. You're still trying to figure out how to do to do. And it's that's not going to do to do is not going to get you anywhere. Tell me about devotion. King of Cups reversed. So you're extremely emotional about this situation. All up in your feelings, wanting a second chance with somebody, um, but you're letting a family dynamic stop you. See what you don't want to happen is you don't want something to crash and burn. And this was built on a false foundation. It has to crash and burn. And you don't want it to. You know, it's it's like that commitment, whatever this is or was, is, is keeping you bound. It's it's positive. It's like being devoted to a family situation or someone from the past, but it's dead. You're holding on to something that's dead. You're letting something stop. You're stopping yourself from moving forward. Well, you're not really stopping yourself anymore. Your muse or whoever this was probably freed themselves. This was probably the opportunity you had, and now they're like, I'm done. I'm out. And you really wanted to devote time and this and that but it's 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 not going in your direction it's definitely not going in your favor that's that's doing nothing yeah three of cups unhappy sad there could even be an addiction thing here there's a karmic situation going on there's no balance you're trying to buy time don't ask me why i can't really see why well i guess in a way so yeah, the five of cups. So it's 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 sorrow. It's it's dwelling. It's uh, you know it. I don't know if you feel guilty about leaving a situation. It looks like you had some type of inspiration. Muse to me, it looks like they freed themselves because this opportunity wasn't happening. There was no offer. You just left something in limbo. Okay, there's some type of family dynamic where there's deception, there's lies. You're either not telling somebody the truth about a third party situation or somebody that came in. Your inspiration is elsewhere. But you are devoted and you do want to be devoted to the family, but it's actually, it's it's stressing you out. All these cups reverse is all your emotions. You might cry this weekend, purge, um, multiple things. But it, it's... You clearly missed an opportunity with the four cups keep coming in reverse and you want it back. But it, it's like you can't have it back right now. Because you're not taking care of what needs to be taken care of. And you're sitting with guilt. But you're again, you're doing it. It looks like you're staying in a situation because of money and finances. And again, it's, it's, it's unhealthy. It, this is game strategizing, keeping your options open. So you could be lying that, you know, you want to be single, keep your options open, X, Y, Z. But you really want something in a different direction. But see, you're settling. You're, you're settling. This is, this is not good. It is not good. You in an unhealthy, karmic, sticky situation. If you ask me, this is the cross watcher. Somebody that came in, inspired you. You had a new opportunity. It's gone. They freed themselves from a situation because you clearly are not. And it's like you're sitting, you're sitting with guilt. Yeah, see? 
It's like your whole world is about to be... Ooh, there's another one. Two fours. Your whole world is about to be rocked. Maybe because you won't commit, you won't settle down, you won't do something. But you want a new opportunity with whomever this person was. And you blew it. With games and sneakiness and manipulation and, you know, playing hard to get, thinking it was attractive. So, again, it's only weekend energy. All right, but if you're going to choose to sit in this, like I said, it's it's like, I don't know if there's a belief thing here. I didn't see anything that stood out. I'd be more looking for like a hierophant type energy. I don't know if you think like your family is going to like lose their shit or crumble or something like, but it's like the situation you're legitimately keeping yourself in is extremely unhealthy. And that's probably why I was having chest pains. Okay, so... And it's going to be an emotional weekend. Like, it's going to crash and burn this weekend. It's, it's going to be shocking. It's, it's out of the blue. You didn't see it coming. Like, I, you know. But, again, it's your own fault. And, and you know it. You know exactly what you're doing is holding you back. Moving on. We are moving on to Leo. Yeah, you're buying you're buying time until you can get out of some type of karmic contract. But you don't, you're stalling. You're doing it to yourself. Okay. Before I do that, I just want to release the air video. So give me a second. It is time stamped for those who just got their fucking panties in a bunch. I just want to time stamp these real quick. Well, hello, Turkey. Well, hello. It wasn't in the fridge. I did look. I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you. Okay. Leo, Leo, blah, 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 Pulling yourself back. Man, man, oh man. Please. Whew. Oh, it's like going within for so long, it's like you don't even know what to say anymore. All right, Leo. Let's bounce out of that Aries energy because that was a whole lot. What are we at? 18, 45. Leo, Leo, Leo. Do, 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 do. Leo, weekend energy, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Leo, I got what you need. Recognition. Realizing something about something. Wanting to compromise with something. Is that false contemplation? False compromising? Yeah. I felt it. Okay. This is... Wanting to compensate because of something. This is something that somebody knows because this is a special connection. This is this is realizing that there's there's some type of love, and it's either with you and somebody or you and 
somebody you know, because this is trying to like, um, this, this is a wedge. You got to let someone go and you don't, you don't want to, there's a wedge here. This is you clearly realizing that someone loves someone else. There's, there's just love, more love somewhere else. It's, it's like a, it's like a match. I don't know if you're ready to light a match. Ugh, like, yeah, see, you know there's an offer and that was reversed. You, you know there's something going somewhere else. Okay. There, I, see, I don't know if there's a wedge here with compromise. Like, you, you shouldn't have to compromise. See what I'm saying? Like, you should just release, let someone go. You, you have to work on yourself, shadow work. You don't want to, what this is telling me is that you're trying real hard to put a wedge somewhere. And now you're going to be stuck in shadow work. This is, is this is telling me it's, it's karmic. When you have to do shadow work, you have to like look at yourself and say, what the fuck am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know if this is the wedge and you're stopping an offer. You, you, it's, you're putting a wedge in between two people. You got to confront your own shadow. It's, you're staying in a situation for your own well-being. I don't think you feel guilty. I don't know where that comes from. I guarantee you got a completely different lesson here. Maybe someone you're dealing with feels guilty. Yeah, see, you're, you're fucking with a masculine's energy right now. There's that contemplation. That's, that's what you're doing. Or there's a masculine that's fucking with your energy. But to me, you need to release a masculine and you're trying to keep the energy exactly where you want it. I'm gonna pull a different lesson for Leo. Cause this you're you're creating a wedge and you're doing it intentionally. And you need to let go, you need to release, and you're holding someone back and you're making a situation work worse. It's so clear. You're literally you're literally I don't want three. You're literally fucking with um a masculine energy and yeah see regret and this is a shit show okay so I know I can't change the past so it's, it's telling me regret and guilt it's telling me that someone along the road did something wrong but you can't change it the past is the past and you're trying to to create a wedge You clearly see, yeah, see? Yeah, this this is it. You clearly see it. This is this is something solid with someone else. Cause I just want to go clarify this. You're literally holding on to somebody for the wrong reasons and you're fucking with their energy this weekend. So if you're a masculine watcher and you're dealing with a Leo that's got strong Leo in their chart they're going to cause a shit show this weekend about letting you go because they they're clearly aware that you moved on and you want more and you're about to like I said you you want more you're about to you know try to offer in a different direction unless you're trying to give unless there's somebody here trying to give money to this person for them to move on. I don't know what that's about. So you're basically, you're, you're causing a wedge. Basically, it's karmic. You need to move forward. You need to go within. You have a feminine here that needs to go within, needs to do work, needs to recognize what's happening, and is holding on for the wrong reasons, causing a wedge for the wrong reasons. And it's, it's fucking with the masculine. This is, this is a shit show. This weekend. That's like throwing a fit. And it's a mistake that you made in the past.
You can't stop this. Yeah, see, this is a win. You can't, you can't stop it. And this thought was just right there. It's like destined. You can't, you, I said it, you can't stop that. You probably wanted to win. Could be ego, could be pride. Not with this thought and that. You can't, you can't stop what that is, okay? So tell me about compromise. So you're trying. I don't know what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, you're trying real hard. You're worried about that, looking right over there, that somebody is going in a new direction. There's something no money here. It's like something's not going in your favor. There's there's something. You're trying to stop, again, a masculine you're trying to stop a masculine from moving forward and going in this direction. You're trying to stop where somebody where somebody wants to go. Their soul is being pulled there. You can't, like I said, this is going to be victorious. You can't, you can't stop that, especially with the with the staff. It's destined. It's faded. This is shadow work. You have to go within. And so it's almost like you're going to offer something when you should be releasing something. See, you're trying to compromise. I don't, I can't quite tell what you're doing yet, but it doesn't look good because it's, it's, you need to release, but you're trying to offer something. I don't know if you don't want to let go of the money, if you're trying to figure out your finances, but this is an emotional thing that needs to be released and looked at because you're literally fucking with a masculine's energy. You gotta let you gotta let it go, and you're, what you're trying to do is create balance that you can't. It's just not there right now. Tell me, release. Like you, it's you're doing it the wrong way. You, you're focused on money in different situations right now, and you're not focused on your own emotional shit that you need to work on. So this is positive. This is ten of the, this is the ten of wands. This is releasing, but it's not really accepting, but it's releasing. So maybe you're figuring out that you have to let something go, but I'm telling you, it's, it's, it involves drama in a shit show. It involves the past, somebody going back to their past, and then a family situation is, is not working out. So you're going to be pissed that somebody's going back to their past. See, I don't know if a secret's going to be revealed with the high priestess reversed. But this is not, you didn't want to see something or you saw it because you're seeing it, but you're still choosing not to see it. Yeah, it's lack of confidence or with this vibration, you don't want to be left. You don't want to be single. You don't, you have, it's, it's lack of confidence is what's holding you back. Lack of self-worth. This is what I'm saying. You have to go within. You're vibing low. You, you know, it's trying to control something whether you realize it or not. Yeah, see, shadow work. It's, it's the same energy that came after that. So, it's like something's going to come out and you have no choice but to drop the weight. you got to let it go. Someone's going back to their past. It, it's it's going to cause some regret, some arguing. There's something with money here. Don't quite know what that's regarding. Yeah, see separation. So maybe you guys just need to work on your finances. It's way more than that. But you know what? This is weekend energy. So 
If you ask me, shadow work has nothing to do with finances. It's emotions. What do you really want? Because you're holding on to something you truly don't really want either. And to me, you need to release. And in a way, you need to release. And it's like you're saying you are, but you're not. See, the Ten of Wands reverse is like you already let go. You already released, but you, you're really not. And it's going to cause destruction. Like it's, like that's a false, tell me about this Ten of Wands. So it's like you're saying I'm done. You're saying X, Y, Z. Yeah, but see, judgment, you're not. It's like you want it, you want it back. You're blocking somebody. And, it, and it's all for the wrong reasons. And I don't know if it's linked to like your security. Yeah, see, competition, jealousy. You know, all for the wrong reasons. You, I'm telling you, you can't stop this. So if there's a masculine here that's dealing with this situation, um, I don't know if you're finally going to realize that this person is blocking you or not. I hope for your sake that you pick up on that because it, this is somebody who's lying that doesn't want you to go in another direction, doesn't want you to have a second chance with somebody, doesn't, is trying to cause a wedge. And this person has no choice but to go within. So I guarantee there's a feminine Leo that's going to be crying a lot, crying to themselves, crying out loud. You know, it's, it's like hearing the truth of a situation. Um, and, and saying I'm releasing with the ten of, ten of Wands reverse, but then it's like judgment still there. So it's like you still don't want somebody else to go in a certain situation, direction, or you're just lying to yourself, or you have to accept it. And if you don't, that judgment will be being brought to your attention in a spiritual way. Yeah, see, it's, it's not wanting to see something foresight. You just, yeah, not wanting to see something stalling, holding things up. Okay? So, and it's just, it's, it's something that you caused at some point in your past, or this person's going back to their past. But I'm telling you, you, you can't stop this. With the style and the six of wands, it, it's coming. And you're trying to cause a wedge and spirit's going to be like, you got to go within. Because you're holding on to something you're saying you're letting go of, but you're not. You're still trying to control a situation. You're still trying to, con in a way, control where this energy goes. And it looks like it might backfire on you. Okay, moving on. Sagittarius. Others of you have a new start coming. Well, you just it's your own new start. Maybe it's somebody else's new start, somebody you're dealing with. Sagittarius. Weekend energy, Sagittarius, nostalgia, looking at the past. That's holding on a little tight, if you ask me, cutting off your damn circulation. You're holding on real tight. Look at all that red. There's a lot of passion somewhere. Somebody has to get to the bottom of something. I don't know if somebody holds the key to your hat. You got a couple different messages here. Because Mingya, I, look at how tight. I don't know if you don't want to let something go. You know the answer is yes. You got to fix something. But this is a conclusion. So something's being concluded this weekend. Or you, you find your answer. If you're looking for a picture, a nostalgic memory, you're going to find it. You could be going through an old chest, family chest. You're opening the key or you're opening your hat. Hmm. Hmm. 
memories. Yeah, that's, that's like good memories. You want big things with somebody. So I don't know if you have to, yeah, fear in winter. So you're, it's like scared to move forward. So you've known somebody for a while. You ever hear that expression? It's, it's weird, like loving someone too much or knowing you need to move forward in... Um, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Thank you. Um, you're, this is like nostalgia or dreams. It's like you're seeing something. You know something. You know the answer is yes. But you're not going after it, this fear. It's like scary. What was I going to say? Oh, some people like literally run this is a runner you know so you guys might be dealing with a runner it's like crazy to run from that shadow work you need to wrap something up you need to communicate. You need to wrap something up so you can have this. This is like shadow work, conclusion. This, If you're just watching Sag, you might want to watch Leo. Because I feel like there's something here. There's like that communication. Someone's trying real hard. But something comes out and it kind of causes, you know, a little bit of an uproar. So you got two things going on. It's like knowing, the inner knowing going in a certain direction, right? Yeah, so you could already manifest it something. It's like that inner knowing, you know to go. But it's like you're still being blocked because there's something here that needs to be worked on. In others of you, it is, it's starting something, ending something. Um, it's something. Like having to go, having to see something. It's like you have to do your own inner work. So it's like having something positive in front of your face, but you, you can't have it. Yeah, see, so you no, know, something has to end. The fool. You got to move forward. Right, full reverse. So it's like you're making foolish decisions right now. You're letting fear hold you back. Something has to end so a new cycle can start. And clearly it's a yes answer. So, yeah, see? Something is, like, as soon, like that, your anxiety, everything goes away and something goes in your favor as soon as you end something. Let's see what the answer is. Yes. So, whoa. Hello. Someone from your past, apparently. So there's that. And I already knew that with nostalgia. That is the same card. Six of cups, six of cups. The answer is yes. You, you fear moving forward. You, It's like you fear ending something to have what you truly want. So there's, that's your own, again, that's your own shadow work. Something that went down as a child, a belief, how you saw something go down, but this is saying something's going to go in your favor. You can't, like, so you must be ignoring what you're feeling. You're ignoring what you really want. Yeah, see, you want a new stop, but you're not going after it. You're still focused on the past. I would definitely suggest to go watch Leah. And it's like holding on to something that's dead. Same scenario. Aries was the same situation, holding on to something. And this was the Leo energy trying to, like, compromise or do something to go in someone else's direction, you know? But it's like, look at, it's dead. Dead. It's, it's almost like I'm telling you, it's like you know where you're supposed to be. And you're not, you're not moving forward out of fear of ending 
some type of contractual contract or something over here with conclusion and world. Like it has to come to an end in order for anything to go in your favor. Yeah, so you're you're afraid you're afraid of rejection. You gotta get past that. You have to. You're not even happy holding on to what you're holding on to. I kind of just got like wicked depressive energy. It stinks. Yeah, you still you said was you're holding on you're holding on to the weight. You you're letting other things hold you back in the tower. You're trying to avoid. You're trying to avoid it. You can't. It's going to be even worse. The universe is now interfering. The universe was interfering with Aries, Leo, and now Sag. So you guys are all dealing with some type of fire sign or a strong Capricorn, Scorpio, or a fixed sign. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. This wheel's not going to turn until you make moves. You got to make moves. Got to make moves. All right, y'all. I hope you have a kick-ass fucking weekend. And I hope that gives you a little bit of <clears throat> less fear with the answers, yes, with whatever is regarding your past. And it's not this past. There's something where your past is dead and there's still somebody from your past that's rolling back around. But you got to clear up the other past first. Holy shit and balls. Persevere. I know I can do anything I set my mind to and being open to two sides of a situation. Color purple might be really good for you this weekend. Okay? And I don't know if you're dealing with somebody who's like the whole blame game, but hang in there. Bye, guys. Love you, love you. Bye.